This video is going to talk about the active challenge account detail overview. So beginning on your dashboard, what you want to do is select in the active challenges section, the details tab. Uh, this is going to launch a more comprehensive report on your account. Um, so just starting with um, starting with the, the details on the left, um, you have your account balance. That is the, the realized account balance. So that's important to note because it's different than equity. Equity is going to include uh, the P&L from any unrealized trades. Uh, next to that, best winner day, that's just um, pretty self-explanatory. So that's gonna be um, your, your best trading session up until this point. Uh, total profits, that's gonna show the, the account balance plus any gain. So in this case, the account began at 25,000. So a total profits of $464.60. Uh, next to that, it's gonna show uh, the gain or loss on that specific session. So that's the daily net PL. and um, And then next to that, similar, just opposite to the one above it, best winner day, it'll show you what your, your one worst trading session was. So in this case, negative 180.21. Uh, objectives. So this will be uh, basically your trading goals. So profit target to unlock payouts. Um, now, this will begin at 1250. But it's important to remember that there's a 30% consistency uh, rule, meaning that you can't make more than 30% of your profit target in one trading session. So if you do have a large trading session, this profit target is going to adjust higher because of that. Uh, consistency days. So this will track how many consistencies, consistency days you have um, towards your target, five being the, the target number. Uh, daily drawdown, this will say uh, how close you are. Well, if you're not trading, then it'll say a thousand because that's a thousand daily loss limit. Um, but if you are trading and you have losses, it'll tell you how close you are to that daily drawdown. And please just, rem just remind yourself that it's a hard breach. Um, the maximum total drawdown, also hard breach. Um, if you're not trading or you hadn't traded, it'll be 3750. Um, as your account balance goes up, um, the trailing drawdown will also go up. Um, there is a high drawdown high watermark of 28,750. Uh, above that, the trailing drawdown will no, will no longer trail and it'll be locked at 25,000. So if, if, if you're above 28,750 account balance, then you'll see that the maximum drawdown will be will stop at 25,000. Sessions, so this will just show uh, on a graph format, um, the P&L of your account um, over however many sessions you have traded. Um, portfolio, so this, this will be um, important if you do have open positions because this will show your pending orders. Uh, this will also show your open current open positions. Um, in this section, you will have the ability to cancel all the orders, flat and delete, uh, or also flat positions. So meaning you just flatten the positions, but the orders remain open. Um, and then next to that is going to be your consistency tab. So this will just be like a graph representation of, of your consistency days. Um, so it'll show you um, what your best day is. And then as you accumulate days, um, this will fill out until you've met the five out of five. Going back to the top, the report. Um, so this will be um, kind of like important statistics relating to your to your account trading. Um, so you can see, like as you as you run through the numbers, um, you're going to have all sorts of different statistics: so balance, profits, loss, commissions, number of trades. Um, if you have been trading for a long period of time, so the the default setting here is one month. So if you need to change the date range. Um, you just select calendar, hit this, and then hit refresh, and it'll populate the trades for whatever date range you input. Uh, down on the bottom, just um, further, you know, graph representations of of your account balance. So it shows your net P and L, um, and then um, your your drawdown. Going back to the top, your trade list. So this will show all of your round trip trades. Um, so this will show also, this is important, this will show the trades and the net P&L uh, with commissions included. Um, so 
if you're looking for your trade history, uh, this is where it'll be the entry time, exit time, duration, um, price, exit, quantity. And then again, this will be your commission. Now, um, there is a scalping rule, meaning trades cannot be less than 30 seconds. Winning trades less than 30 seconds, as you'll see here, um, will have an alert that shows up. It'll say scalping, meaning that profitable trades held less than 30 seconds are going to be removed from your account balance. This will automatically happen. So if you see an alert in your trade list um, is because of scalping um, and the trade, that means that the, the gain from that trade has been removed. Next, fills. So um, trades was a full round trip. Fills will just tell you the orders that were filled. Um, so this will be the buy and then the sell and then the buy and the sell. Um, it shows you the time, it shows you the price. Also, we'll show you the commissions. Um, next to it will be your orders. Um, so it'll be similar to, to the fills and the trades. Um, the big difference is, is that you will see also um, canceled orders or if there was an error with an order, it'll show up here. Also, um, to show you the difference between uh, market and limit. Um, but similar to fills and trades, you can change the date range. If you wanna have a, a specific range in mind, you can just change it here by selecting the calendar and then hitting the refresh button.